Danse. Good afternoon. And uh, Morgan Serger in Sinagaston. My name is Morgan Serger, and I'm just representing Midway Bible Camp here as we have a YouTube channel. And uh, I think all of us recently have been, uh, if we've been thoughtful and caring, we've been rocked by the news of 215, uh, the bodies of 215 children found out in BC at a residential school. And it since we have a YouTube channel and a social media presence, we, we didn't want this to pass us by. So um, yeah, there's been lots of memorials with shoes and with rocks and with you know, flags being lowered. And we want to recognize these 215 uh, children and their families and, and recognize also that this is just the tip, tip of, of, of a lot more unknown and uncertainty across the country. And so we would echo the calls to, to do an investigation, look for the truth. Uh, at Midway Bible Camp, we look for to follow the truth. Uh, the Bible tells us that the truth will set you free. Uh, we, we look to Jesus as the, the, the one who leads us. And he said, let the children come to me. Uh, and, and it was done out of love, not out of restrictions, not out of um, taking children away from their families. And the whole premise of residential school um, though it was done by people who called themselves Christians, it, it is, has nothing to do with the message of Jesus, which is a message of love and of peace, uh, is a message of, of hope in a broken world. And so uh, we just like to, to have that hope renewed. Um, we think and feel and pray for the families of those, uh, of those 215 children and also for the, the survivors and thrivers of residential school all across Canada. Uh, I sit here in the traditional territory of, I guess, Tatasquak and again in Ninawak, um, and then in a, in a strange way also with Kitchewskaga and Nagani and uh, This is, I believe, kind of Split Lakes traditional area, and uh, York Factory First Nation was forcibly relocated to York Landing here uh, in, on this trap line. Uh, their traditional territory is up on the coast, and I was recently blessed to have some time up at Opoaston. A place of a, of a tornado and, and it made me think just being there um, it's worth thinking about all of the elders who are not with us because they passed away in residential school it's worth thinking about all of the people whose families have been traumatized by the experience of residential school or losing someone or or even the uncertainty uh, i've seen letters and notes uh and and walked beside people here in this first nation in in york factory first nation who who are again just being hit so hard. All of us have anger, have feelings of anger and feelings of, of, of sadness, feelings of grief, feelings of confusion. And so in all of us, let's really move towards true reconciliation by, by building relationships with uh, our First Nations neighbors, by not holding tight to the benefits that some of us as settlers ha have here in Canada because of some of the the things that were taken away, forcibly taken away, or, or um, yeah, from First Nations people, the, the the freedoms, the land, the prosperity that exists in Canada is it was all built on the backs of a system of colonization that was uh, in groups that called themselves churches, that called themselves Christians, that called themselves uh, followers of God uh, at different times have have. Uh, have been a part of that throughout all of Canadian history. This is not a season or a, a, a chapter in Canadian history. This is the foundation on which Canada was built, uh, a foundation where people came and took, where people were coercing and tricking and lying. And it is not a, a part of, of something that we would like to be a part of. We want to be a part of healing and of hope and of looking to Jesus who, who loves us. So just a short little message from the staff at Midway Bible Camp, the volunteers and the communities who we try and work very closely with. Kwapmitten, I'll see you later. Let's pray for one another and love each other with true, true love. 